There's one thing that makes us all feel uncomfortable when we're doing video meetings with the boss. It's where our eyes are looking. The problem is if you look at yourself talking on the screen, it kind of looks like you have at least a few lazy eyes. And if you look only directly into camera at the top, you'd never know that you have spinach in your teeth from that delish artichoke flatbread at lunch. Well, now one innovator has focused on fixing your eye line when you're talking online. Sometimes the smallest adjustments make all the difference. This is the center screen camera, and it helps people see eye to eye, literally. It takes all of the guesswork out of where to look when you're on a video call, because it's situated not at the top of your computer, but instead operates right from the middle of your screen, where all the action is. I caught up with Nome, Alaska-based inventor Ian Foster while he was visiting Utah. Hello, Ian, and welcome to our show. Hey, thanks a lot for having me, Mo. What inspired your idea for this center screen webcam? 10 years ago, I went to Alaska, and I had just started my internship working with troubled youth that had substance abuse issues, and COVID hit. All of a sudden, we switched to remote, and there was a very clear difference between the remote work that we were doing and the in-person relationships we had built. We realized that some of what was, the problem was was eye contact. Was there a particular moment that pushed you to find a solution? Yeah, I remember there was this one kid that I was working with. He didn't know where to, whether to look here or here or there, and so he ended up looking in all three places. That was probably one of those moments where I realized this, there's got to be a better way. How does it work? It's really simple. There's a camera on the end of a flex tube, and it hangs on the edge of the screen, but the camera actually sits in the middle of the screen, and it's fully adjustable, so you can move it side to side pretty easily with a clip. The clip has rubberized contact points, so it won't scratch your screen. And the camera is the size of a dime. The initial development wasn't as challenging as I was expecting. The reason for that was that I purposely found existing tech and I modified existing tech. And I worked with a manufacturer that had an existing small camera. Thank you for being on our show. Hey Mo, thanks for having me.